We're in the same situation, so we're here to give each other support. How's that sound? Sounds great. Yeah, Sounds great. Right. It does. Guys, I think this is the beginning of a really long friendship. I think they understood each other because they knew what it was like to be desperate. They knew what it was like to be ashamed. And they knew what it was like to be at the bottom. Hello, ABC. Yeah. Welcome to the Korea family. My name is Noreen. My name is Frank. We just basically want to know if you can give us a chance and let us get back on our feet and give us a life once again. It was about two months ago when, when everything started going downhill for us. My husband lost his job and he got laid off. Before that, I was I had a good paying job. We had a house, me, my wife, my kids, we had everything. So the family had to move from motel to motel. And then when they finally ran out of money completely, they had no choice, but they had to move into an emergency homeless shelter. So the whole family, all six of them, have to squeeze into this really tiny, tiny room in that shelter. But it gets even tougher than that. Now during the day, the shelter actually has to close, which means the family has to walk the streets or ride city buses to stay warm. We have to be out from 7 to 5.30 every day. Sometimes when it's so cold out there, it's like, you know, we don't have no choice but to be out there. I worry mostly about my little sister because she's the littlest one. And my two other brothers, they're, I worry about them, but they're old enough. I still, I still watch over them and everything. You know, they look up to us, so we're supposed to be the ones, you know, to get them through this. My kids got clothes in their back, they got food in their stomach, they're doing good, but to me that's not good enough. So the Koreans are thankful to have a roof over their head, right? But they can't stay there forever. In fact, they can't stay there much longer. Now, they've already been at the shelter for two months and they can only stay for three. So now they have no idea where they're gonna go next. That's where we come in. Hi, ABC. My name is Connie Zimmerman, the founder and the director of Colorado Homeless Families. We take care of homeless families with children, families that have initiative to help themselves. And what these guys do is they get families back on their feet by giving them a place to live for as long as they need it. Then another family moves in, and it's a really amazing program. Right now, she has room for 26 families, but she's filled up, and it's getting colder every day. So if she had more homes, she could help more families. Now what Colorado Homeless Families does have is an empty lot, and Connie's asked us to help them build a house on it. ABC, please assist us in helping out the Korea family to move into a home here. Please, 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 please. We're a good family, please! <laughs> Guys, this family needs a home of their own, right? And we're gonna help Colorado homeless families give them a perfect place for a brand new start. Can we do it? Absolutely. Let's do it! So this is it, this is actually where they've been staying. But there's a lot of families in there. I don't really want to hurt anyone's feelings. So we're gonna do things a little differently. Does anyone have a quarter I can borrow? I got uh. some change. Hey, is this the Jeffco Action Center? Hi there, I'm trying to get in touch with um, Frankie Korea. Okay, here, here he comes. comes. So they should be coming through this door right here. Yeah. They're coming? Surprising the Korea family was a very humbling experience. Imagine what these two have been through as parents. You guys seem a little overwhelmed. You okay? <laughs> no, I'm shaking. This is special to our family. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Oh, man. <laughs> My legs just feel like they want to just drop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are an awesome family, and you truly, really do deserve this. But you're definitely not alone. Yeah. Basically, what I'd like to do is give you guys some neighbors, because there's other families out there that are homeless as well. So how do you guys feel about having some neighbors? Oh, that's that's great. great idea. You guys cool with that? We're cool with that. <laughs> so what you're saying is that we're building two houses? No, I'm not saying we're building two houses. Because that's a little scary. Right. Yeah, so what's the plan, Ty? Well, I think what we ought to try and do is build a really, really great duplex. Oh, so that, oh that's nice. a great idea. Oh, right. That's cool. All right. So we'll have your family on one side and yeah. another homeless family on the other. And we'd like you to come along with us and help us change another family's life for the better. You guys cool going with us and helping us change the life of another family? Let's do it. Let's right. do it. Bye. Designers, Koreas, Meet the Maderos family. So Dusty Maderos is a divorced mom trying to deal with the financial pressures 
I'm raising two young kids, Deshaun and Deontay. She's just come upon really hard times. Check out this tape the family sent us, and I think you'll see why we need to go give them some help as well. Hi, we're the Madeira's family. I'm mm -hmm. Dusty. I'm Deshaun. This is Deontay. They had a dad living with them. Things were going well. But after he left, she hasn't been able to pay the bills. The landlord said, I know you can't make this without your other person income. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Things have kind of gone on hard times, and she's had to sleep on friends' couches. For the Correa family to see somebody else's tape, um, I think they were really moved, um, especially by Dusty, and, and understood what she was going through. <sighs> Maybe it'll be a good start to a new life. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching our tape. tape. Yeah, Bye. Love you Bye. Bye. And let's go give these guys a surprise of a lifetime, shall we? Come on, Wait. Do it. So come on, guys. Hey. 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 family, meet the Madero's family. Uh, Madero's, <laughs> the Koreas. You guys are going to be neighbors. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> This is Deontay, and that's Deshaun. And I'm Dusty. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Frank. Noreen. That's my wife. These guys actually uh, saw your video on the way over. Yeah. yeah. We brought tears <laughs> this time. I don't know. We're in the same situation, so we're here to give each other support. How's that sound? Sounds great. It's Sounds ready. great. It does. Guys, I think this is the beginning of a really long friendship. I think they understood each other because they knew what it was like to be desperate. They knew what it was like to be ashamed, and they knew what it was like to be at the bottom. They all want to get back to where they were. It's just sometimes you're really so far down you can't get up without a little help. You feel like getting on the bus, taking a ride, and seeing where you're going to live? Yeah. 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 Let's well, do let's it. take a bus ride. All right, here we go. Come on out, guys. Just, just walk over there and stare at the bus for a second. OK. So this neighborhood belongs to Colorado Homeless Families. It's an organization that brings in families just like you guys and gives them a the place to live until they can get back on their feet. Now we're gonna help them build you guys a new home for as long as you need it. So are you guys ready to see where you're gonna be living? Yeah! All right, well, we're gonna need to move that bus. So guys, help me say it, will you? Bus driver! Move that bus! the Koreas and the Majeros were so just in shock. Okay, but where's your house? <laughs> it is pretty much a dirt lot. <laughs> but I, but give us a week, and I promise you, you won't believe your eyes. Now, since you guys are going to be neighbors, cool. we want you guys to get to know each other. And since you guys have really never been on vacation, we thought you'd send you on vacation together. You guys are going to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Vacation. We are. Can somebody get me a limo? Yeah. Yeah. These guys have been struggling for a long time. For the first time in a while, they can put all their worries behind them for just a little bit. All right, guys, learn to get to know your neighbor. We'll see you when you get back. All right? They're going to have a great vacation. They're going to get to know each other. They'll become great friends. And now, instead of all the bad memories they have of being homeless, they're going to finally have good memories of them having a vacation together. And that makes me very happy. You know, Ty, we're here for a job. And across the country, we build shelters for the homeless with great partners like Standard Pacific. And we're here this weekend so two families can have another shot at life, two really deserving families. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah! yeah! So when you're building a house, the first thing you build is a foundation. And here in Denver, it's a little tricky because they have swelling soil, which means when it gets wet, it expands and that can crack a foundation. So what we had to do is basically drill holes for caissons. So I'm bringing in these things called caisson rigs. Huge drills are gonna drill down about 30 to 40 feet till we hit bedrock. Then we're gonna pour some pylons, concrete, and put our foundation on top of that. Now that is 
is a solid foundation, people. So the house is basically gonna be like an iceberg. You only see the tip of it because down below is like this huge foundation. Okay, we got morning to day three. Guys cleaning up forms here. We got our driveway poured. They're going ahead and, and, and swirling it all out there. But we're just about ready to get framing. Now, last night we had that tough pour and uh, you can actually still feel heat coming off the wall. So this is still curing, but they're able to form. So it'll actually end up taking about 30 days to cure, but we're, we're okay to, uh, to, to frame right now. Okay, bring that back. Oh, great, this is good. These are our panelized floors that are coming in on this truck. Right now, they're lifting the first of our panelized floor systems into the house. That floor will be lifted right on top of our foundation wall that we just poured. We panelized our floor system. We, which means we built it off-site, around the corner, while our concrete was drying. Normally, we wait for the concrete to dry, and then we'll put all these floor joists down. But not this time. Here's the problem, though. When you panelize your floor system, you set it down so quickly, you don't give the heating guys very much time to finish their work. So, we're going to pretty much enclose them, and they're going to have an access panel of that 24 by 24 to climb back out of there once we've shut them in. Over my head is the next panel of flooring. These I-beams right here are normally laid on the, on the foundation once the foundation dries. We didn't wait for that kind of time. We put all these I-beams with the floor sheeting while the, contract, while the concrete was drying. I better have to frame that floor. Well, that's the last of our floor systems to go in. I've never seen any framing go out so quickly before. We've got floors going in and walls going up all at the same time. That's never happened on our projects before.